Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's the Candyman. Uh, hey, thanks for listening in. This week we had a little bit of a technical difficulty snafu. Uh, our memory card actually ended up being full, uh, I don't know, like 20 minutes into the recording. Um, and we weren't able, we actually didn't notice it, you know, until about, you know, there wasn't like an alarm or notification or anything. So we just kept going and recording the show. And then somewhere halfway through, I noticed like, Hey, guess what? This thing is stopped. So, you know, when you do a podcast, there's a certain, uh, live element to it. You can't really rehearse it. I mean, you can, but it just doesn't sound as natural and you can't go back and redo material you've already done. Cause you can't laugh at jokes you've already laughed at or bring up stuff, you know, get the, you know, get the reactions that you would get if they're expecting it. So, um, you know, our audience doesn't deserve that. You guys are the best. Speaking of which, thank you for listening. Um, this week we got, I'd say it was probably one of the bigger weeks we've, you know, for me, I, I got a lot of different messages from different sources, different people saying they really like, you know, enjoyed the show and that they listened to some of our older work because they've been enjoying it. And, um, you know, we wanted to give out some shout outs. Uh, but basically, you know, you know, we're on here doing this for you guys. You know, we want to make a show to make the world a better place, one listener at a time. And, you know, the more we can grow that audience, the more we're able to devote um, to the show. You know, Dan's talking about if we could do it full time, we would. Um, I'm definitely would be game too, but it costs big bucks and you got to have a big audience to support that. And it all starts right here. So we're starting something from nothing. We're on year two and we love the niche audience that we've got already. And we're just looking forward to building and spreading that around the world. Um, and we do, we got listeners in Australia and different parts of the U S and other countries. And it's just totally rad, man. So we really enjoy it. So sorry for the technical difficulties. Here's what we got for the week. And I uh, hope you enjoy just like uh, we'll just call it an appetizer on the rest of the season. Reality. UFOs. Science. Consciousness. Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. That might not be a real thing. The podcast. Recording live. From the Bagshaw Mills in Lowell, Massachusetts, it's That Might Not Be a Real Thing. Brought to you in part by NRG Tree. Check them out at nrgtree.com for all your home or business solar needs. That was very professional. That was great. Is this like a working office? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it seems very it, sparse. A, it's, it's, I feel like it's the front. It's funny you should ask that because we are actually ex-employees of another business that used to be in this building. And right. at the time when we actually worked here, there'd be like four or five, six, seven, eight other people walking around. And I don't know if anyone was doing anything. <laughs> Eddie, right. There's nothing in anybody's desks here. This like one no dude, chargers or anything. This like, one this one dude would do a Rubik's Cube in like a minute. And he was French. Yeah. This French guy, yeah. David, he'd be like, go ahead, mix it up any way you want. I'll, I'll fix it. For real. And he, yeah, would, yeah, he knew the algorithm. Dude he, dude, he would crank out a Rubik's. Like I would take that shit to my desk sit there for 30 minutes fucking it up. <laughs> I'd do it at random. I'd be like, oh, good luck figuring this out, asshole. I don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. And then he'd, he'd, he'd look at me and be like, ha ha, 30 yeah, seconds, yeah, yeah. Mm, I'm French. And he'd throw it at me <laughs> yeah. when I was done. I'd be like, yeah. fuck because, you. Yeah, because it's an algorithm. He knew He knew no matter where it was in the thing, he knew how to get it well, there. Well, guess what? That must that that makes sense. Yeah, he he's a coder. Yeah, it's like right, right, left, left, right, uh, right, left, left. I saw a kid on TikTok recently do it blindfolded, like, and they held something over. Oh, Fuck so it. that Fuck that. So that's, so that's he, definitely, he, that's he definitely gets, a he gets method like, to it. Yeah, he gets like thirty seconds, maybe a minute, to like memorize it. He just kept like looking at it, and then he's like, okay. And then they put the blindfold down and put a piece of cardboard over. Can't even see what he's like. No, and he was just like boop 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 boop, and he got it done. It's essentially what this guy would do. It was insane. I feel cheated that we didn't know that. Like, there was certain knowledge that was just common knowledge in the '80s. Like, if I say it right now, you're going to immediately know what it is, right? But it's 
up, down, up, down, left, right. Oh, A, B, start. A, B, A, B, B, A, B, A, B, select, select, start. Select, select start. Yeah, That's yeah the code, Contra. The yeah. code for 99 lives and Contra, Nintendo. Right. Yeah. You yep. grew up in America and you were from in the, in the yeah. 80s. You fucking knew that code. Yeah. And by that, word of mouth because we didn't have the internet like, they, they learned right. it they put that who in it. everything that's like an easter egg in so many like movies mm-hmm. and yeah. everything yeah. it's insane it's it's a significant piece of like obscure information I from, from, yeah. from history you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. The, kid, the kids would never figure it out. The 90s was the code for, uh, which I forget right now, but you guys re- remember, it was the code for Mortal Kombat. Oh, to get, oh, to get I... unlimited, to <laughs> unlimited health or whatever, yeah, so you couldn't like get that. killed. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you could get fucked. You could get your ass kicked in real life if you pull that we shit. We used to print out. <laughs> that we... shit was competitive. <laughs> you use a cheat code back then, you were fighting somebody. Yeah. Probably. People used to print out guides as Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat 2. Right. And like it would have all the fatalities on it and they'd print it out and they'd give it out in school. This is a different era, man. Yeah. No, um, I don't think... So, hey, th- thanks for listening in, everyone. We had, uh, apparently, uh, I received a lot of feedback this week from that, just randomly various sources that say they're listening to the show and they like it and they. Uh, wish we recorded every day or whatever and i was like hey listen it's a lot of work to just produce one, one week an episode on top of what we're doing but shout well, out if we were full time we could do yeah. two, three four episodes a week we've yeah. got some shout outs to give out so uh first of all it's today's greaster it's an ac- not an acronym but a what do you do when you mash two words together into one it's there, a mashup it's a mashup yeah is there a actual english literature yeah, term mashup. for it mashup. all right so greaster is a mashup for greek easter and regular and uh well in some shout, parts of the world it is regular shout yeah, out true, to yeah. cousin alex who's been on the show twice uh he was there today with some of his friends from rehab and they had never heard that he had been on the show and i was i gave them the cards for the show so and one of the girls that I'm pretty sure something's going on with the two of them, but mm-hmm. we will edit that out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the uh, she she likes the card and starts immediately asking me if we if we're into conspiracy <laughs> theories and UFOs and blah blah blah. And yeah. I was I was like two two out of two of us are. I, like, <laughs> yeah. I can't speak for the, the other two, but one might be sick of it and one might think he just thinks we're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, and anyway, you know so. Thanks for supporting the show, everyone. Shout out to uh, my, my homeboy, Joey Foster, uh, out in the Amazon hub of Arizona. Yeah. Uh, I guess the Amazon people, employees in Arizona listen to us oh, wow. or something. That's really Shout cool. out. I don't know how it works. The loading, Feel free to unionize out there. The loading oh, station. What's up, guys? That's a horrible company to work for. <laughs> yeah. Well, he loves it, so just let him know. I'll give him that one. We're giving these people a shout out. Yeah. But, you know, Whatever you're happy. We love you as individuals and as employees. And if you're not, thank you for listening anyway. We, yes. do, <laughs> we yeah. do encourage sticking it to the man and not that's you know. right. Thank you for bringing me my package on a Sunday. Yeah. yeah. On, Gre- eight, on Greek Easter. Yeah, it's great. I got to endorse. I ordered it thing. yesterday. <laughs> I do love that. That's what I was talking to my It's amazing. I was talking to my, my uncle about it today, who's like super conservative. And I was like, the corporations, the real people running everything. I was like, but we like them. I was like, they I deliver know. our shit. They give us channels. They make it easy. They deliver our shit in like a yeah. day. Free returns, you know? I'm like, yeah. You know, two, one, two one, days max. One company does going. it, and the rest have to keep suit because they're like, fuck, these guys are going to keep... You know, it's, it's a yeah. jungle out there, baby. Yeah. I put on Oculus a couple weeks ago, like the oh virtual God. reality. Uh, I was in my mother-in-law's living room, blown away that I was seeing miles what's of it? mountains <coughs> what's in her it, living room. What's it like? Unbelievable, I heard, I heard it. I, heard I was it. like, you can the really, hills are alive. You can really trick your mind quick. Oh, quick. I was like, "Holy shit! They, Holy shit!" They've done awesome. they've done things to people. With, like, you, have you ever seen the experiment that they do where like they'll take like a fake hand and they'll take your hand and they'll put them on the table and they'll put like a cloth over yes. it and they'll hit the fake hand with yeah. a hammer and almost like immediately everybody pulls back their left oh, yeah. hand. Yeah. Even though they know that's a fake. Like hand. you could do it to a person you, that's yeah. consciously going to focus. Yeah. And like. You know, most people have to really focus on not moving their hand. All you gotta do yeah. is just don't move your hand. Self preservation. But the the reflex is uh, it overrides the control. You know, basically the your control of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Action. Which I think is the definition of a reflex, kind of. And uh, yeah, so the virtual reality. I've heard that like 
within a couple of minutes of getting in there, you immediately, your brain immediately accepts it as, yep, this is my environment. Right away, right. I couldn't believe how big my environment had changed. And I've been through like those like zombie ones, you know, where you go and you shoot. Yeah, like at those we went facilities. To- this graphics on this were way better. So oh, like, yeah. I was like, holy shit. I was like, I can't believe I'm looking at this right now. I'm not ready for that. You got to try it. I'm going to buy one. Well, shout yeah, out. I, I think it would be a slippery slope for I, Chris. I can't get into that. This porn, too. <laughs> That's what I yeah, mean. Yeah, I can't go in there. That's what I mean. I go in there, I'm not coming out. You guys know. <laughs> I saw something online recently that I thought was really funny. What? It's like a... Um, it's almost like a like a pocket pussy or like a flashlight. Oh yeah, F- and, I had. But none, kind of. But you can choose from different positions on a, on your on the oh, app on your phone. It applies the pressure and it different. Applies the pressure different. Yeah. Oh. I was like, "What the fuck?" Merry what, Christmas. Funny or brilliant. Welcome to Amer- Welcome yeah. to the future. Imagine you just hook, I'm sure you can hook that up to the fucking Oculus somehow. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that's true. That's what I mean. They definitely. They have definitely. That shit. Oh, somebody's definitely figured. That's that how out. they invented the Oculus. One hundred. In fact, in fact, <laughs> pornography should be pushing the way for a better VR technology. Yeah. They are. Because someday that's, you're John's not been saying that all year. Yeah. yeah. Someday that's you're not going to be. You're the not going to be a real human. It. Like, yeah. They have like live shows. Like you mm-hmm. can fuck a chick that you think it, it's live. Yeah, pretty really? soon they'll. Yeah, it's, I I I've, I've never done it. No, but there are I these guys. No, but I you, would, but I've watched them. <laughs> yeah, there, are these, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there are these guys that aren't leaving the house though. They're just no, yeah. doing this. <laughs> yeah, no, right, exactly. Why would they? Uh yeah, I wouldn't. Um, it's been brought up to me by multiple women in the last few years that I enjoy gaming more than I enjoy sex, and I told them like I don't. I think that's true but the data would suggest it because <laughs> if you put like if you put a mice in a maze and they go after one thing over the other that's like that's the test like if you put me in there and you're like you can have this or you can have that like on that's any what? given day i'd usually rather jerk off and just play video games <laughs> than deal with right. all the complications but of interacting what? with a human well, okay so different? say you're in say you're the mouse in in the maze yeah I and am. and we all the are. two and the two, yeah <laughs> and the two options are video games or Ooh, sex. You're talking a little bit at an angle because of the angle of that. Oh, so yeah. just back up your chair a little, and uh, there you go. You'll sound better. Is that better? Oh, I, yeah. Oh, thank you. I think yeah. it, I think it'll be holy better. moly. Yeah. yeah, I thought I was like straight. Echoing. It's straight in. Yeah. Um. Go ahead. Start over. Sorry, you're the rat. I'm a rat. Or, can, I, can I be a mouse? Mouse, whatever. I don't want to be you're a rat. La- you're a lab mouse. I don't want to be a rat. Cute little white little mouse. Two options in your maze. What are they? Sex, video games. Do I get to jerk off? No. In the in the the video game side. Yeah. You no. can't jerk off. No, it. it's one or the other. But video games and sex, the greatest combination. I, <laughs> I know they are. But that you have you, to get to the end. You have to choose between one. Which one would you choose? I know my answer, but I, I, that's different. I'm I'm not I, an I, avid gamer. I guess it's. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say you answer better. Than you. <laughs> I guess it's animal. <laughs> I I think I choose video games because it will wow. distract me longer from reality than the sex. Wow. Okay. The sex could even bitch slap me further into reality. Like I could be like, "Hey, you, you knocked me up, motherfucker. <laughs> well, you <gotta laughs> yeah, pay some bills." True. That's true too. So. I love video games. Shout out to my my crew. We what? we placed really well the beginning of season seventeen of PUBG this week. There you so go. I just you know, congrats, Maxi Man, Butters, Butters, suffocating hate, and me took everybody fucking down I on like day your one of uh Pubs we we had a we had a kick ass placement. Is match. Suffocating hate the wrestler? No 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 that's uh that's. You're thinking of Aaron Agony? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, the Agony? Oh, the Agony. That's yeah. Right. His uh, his gamer tag is Aaron Rules, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> that was, he inv- He made that up when he had nothing else to pick. He's just like, I just got to pick one. Something like that. I was never creative at coming up with screen names and stuff like no. that. Like, I s- still remember my AIM one. What was, was it? it? Aim. Yeah, aim. Chat. For chat, yeah. That was it, hot stuff. It was girl monkey six with no um 
with no vowels. So it was just like G R L M N K Y. Oh six. shit! You had to put it together, figure it out. But only because it gave me that name because it asked me like three things: like, wh- what do you like? Are you a girl? Blah blah blah. You like and monkeys? Like, yes or no? Yeah, you know what I mean. I think I wrote like I like monkeys. Everybody I likes know. monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I was in like eighth grade, you know, maybe yeah. sixth grade. Yeah, right. And I was like, mm-hmm, I like monkeys, <laughs> but I had it for years, and I'll never forget it. Song of the week. No. Oh. Just throwing it out there so I don't forget it. And this is by a band that I have historically labeled as overrated. Oh. And upon a further preponderance of their work, I don't think they're overrated. I think that they're I just think that they were just a little overhyped, but I think that they had some really solid stuff. I'm talking about none other than the Beatles. Oh. And the song okay. is Revolution. Oh, that is a good one. And, yeah, great fucking tune. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They got the high notes. You know what it's going to be? All right. And they got the guitar. And you listen to the lyrics, and he's basically saying, like, you know, everyone's kind of, back back then everyone's talking about, like, that they've got the new idea that's going to make the world better, but, like, and they want money, and they want, like, some kind of fucking, he's okay. Uh, hard. They, they, hard. <laughs> They want money and they want some other bullshit for it. And uh, I don't know. That's the song of the week. It's the revolution. It's by the Beatles. And I'm not going to say. I have an album of the week. What is it? It's Pusha T. Um, It's Almost Dry. This is a rap album. And it's by a rapper who mostly talks about cocaine and and the distribution of that. And all the lifestyle of choices cocaine, that go into or, that, yeah, or byproduct of cocaine. No, 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 cocaine. Okay, yeah, and uh, Wait, who's it by? Pusha T. Push I've never it, heard of him. Push it T. Pu- pusha, like pusha. Pu- oh, Pusha. Okay. Like, like Yo. I'm your Pusha. Yeah, I got it. Oh, like Pusher, the Pusher yeah. man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pusher. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I Drug get dealer. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's really good. He he he's talented. He just kind of has one. Where is he from? Virginia. Oh, so good. And his his producers are Kanye and Pharrell Williams. Oh wow! So right. heavy heat. Good album if oh. you like that type of music. I like when people can rebrand themselves, right? Mm. And like, it is possible to do it. Okay, it's like some people call it flipping the script, or right. switching it up, whatever. But like, the fact is, is that like. Ice T was a pimp at one point. Right, right. <laughs> I straight up saw him in like some major ad with like some kids the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And He's I've seen him. Way. I've seen him all over the place. Where I was like, Ice this, Cube too. Ice Cube was like a gangster. I don't know if he was a straight pimp. Like, like Ice T was no. I think he was a criminal record for pimp for pimping. So, I mean, pimping to go, easy. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. And to go from to go from being a street pimp to going to be in movies. To then going on like SVU to then like yeah, everyone's for completely real. forgot by he had now a reality that I'm a pimp. Show. And yeah, yeah he it, yeah. he rebranded the shit out of himself, and you know, good for him on that one, I guess. So oh, wait, I actually do have a that might not be a real thing. What is Ooh. it? Ooh. Okay. I don't even know how to present it in any other way other than I'm just gonna bring it up. Hit me. Johnny Depp versus <gasps> Amber oh, Heard. I, I am obsessed. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? I am obsessed. I knew, I feel like I knew you would be obsessed. <laughs> I legitimately I, have no I idea. Literally what you're... Married I know about to it. the shorter version that of that. Right that now. is facts. That is facts. Okay. So what, um, happened? what happened? So Johnny Depp and his ex, Amber Heard, are in court proceedings right now. She defamed him by saying he abused her, but she really, she was the abuser. She's cuckoo. Abuser. It seems like she, she like was. Shit I'm sorry. Dad. I'm on I'm on Johnny's side. I think I always will. I always knew he was a good guy for some reason. I, she shit I knew on he, his bed and she cut shit his finger on, off. Yeah, his right? kind cut, eyes. She threw a bottle at him and uh, it like sliced the tip of his finger yeah. off. And then like he's she smeared her own shit on his side of the bed. And he like and, covered it up for years because he was embarrassed for her. Right. And he didn't want to like make everybody seem like his wife's because he knows but... it's like meant. You know, it's partly mental illness. Obviously, she's she's you got doing be... some cuckoo shit. It's and, a special type of and person. She's an actress. Yeah. With shit on the wall. Yeah, and she's an actress. Oh, she is. So she's, yeah, she's yeah. in cahoots. She, okay, she's in so. The- and that's all we have time for this week due to technical difficulties, as previously mentioned. Uh, anyway, thanks for tuning in. Looking forward to doing some new stuff down the road. Uh, one of the things Sean wants to in- 
implement into the show. And I think it's kind of a cool idea. I hope you guys like it. I hope everyone enjoys it. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of solo recording. Uh, not all the time, just maybe once in a while, but we're definitely going to release the first round of those pretty soon um, where we all kind of get to dive, do a deep dive into something that we want to talk about. It doesn't have to be serious. It can be, but you know, it doesn't have to be. Uh, I don't know what Dan and Kingsley have up their sleeves uh, for their talk. Um, but whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm going with meh, something a little serious, but at the same time, it light, it will lighten you up if you let it. I'm going to do a commentary on Alan Watts, uh, some of his works. Uh, he's just one of the best philosophers of our time. And, you know, when I was uh, listening to him, it is just like light bulbs going off in my brain nonstop. Not necessarily that he was illuminating me with ideas, but he was on the same track or further along the track of some ideas or philosophies that I'd kind of been thinking of. Um, and, you know, he's not anything, uh, he, you know, he, there is a lot of his own work in his work, but what he really specializes in, in my opinion, is, you know, he re regurgitates a lot of Hinduism, Buddhism, and Zen, uh, Eastern philosophy into a way that, you know, regular people can understand without like necessarily having a higher education with a focus in philosophy. Uh, Cause you know, he was classically trained uh, educationally in great Britain. Uh, however they do it over there. They're fancy who knows what they do, but their, their schools, they, uh, however they do it, they schooled him. And then he went out into the world and learned himself, uh, you know, Eastern philosophy. And, and for me, uh, you know, if you're somebody that's dealing with any kind of mental problems or disorders or emotional problems, um, you can call it whatever you want. You know, it's physical, it's chemical, it's mental, whatever. You're out of balance. Um, and Alan Watts is someone who I think his work helped bring me back into balance a little bit better. And so that's really why I want to spread it around. Um, but beyond that, you know, the eight M's of combating depression, one of them's meditation. Um, a lot of times when I meditate, I will just put on an Alan Watts. Um, YouTube has like some, you know, some nice ones with some soothing sounds in the background. I prefer just straight Alan Watts. If you can get them, uh, you know, get them on Amazon or something, uh, that's where I get mine. But YouTube does have a plethora of his work that you can download for free. People, other people have taken segments of it. So uh, that's what I'm going to be presenting. And Sean is going to be doing some sort of commentary on the behind the scenes of what it's like to be friends with or know me and Dan and what the hell we're like in real life and what he, you know, some of the antics he's seen over the years. Because he's pretty much a fucking front row seat to my life, I'll tell you that. Uh, him and Dan definitely have had plenty of time together. Um, but uh that's it man that's that's all we got for this week we got a little couple of announcements couple of shout outs and then the mic shit out on us because the well memory card shit out on us so we are looking forward to putting a good season on for season two and continuing the work and we just want to thank everyone again and pass the show around and until next time guys this is the candy man telling you to get your hooshies off baby <laughs>